Addressing elder abuse vulnerability. A comprehensive approach. Elder abuse, in its various forms, presents one of the gravest issues in today's aging society. Vulnerability to physical, emotional, and financial abuse can escalate after the age of 60. Effective strategies to mitigate these risks are essential. Let's explore some of the key measures and strategies. 1. Understanding the issue. Definition. Elder abuse involves the intentional or neglectful acts by a caregiver or trusted individual that lead to harm of a vulnerable elder. Forms. This abuse can be physical, emotional, sexual, financial, or even neglect. Financial exploitation is especially rampant, given the increasing control of assets by the older generation. 2. Risk factors and signs. Physical. Unexplained bruises. Broken bones. Abrasions. Emotional. Unusual withdrawal from normal activities, sudden changes in alertness, or unexplained depression. Financial. Significant withdrawals. Missing items. Unpaid bills despite sufficient resources. 3. Primary prevention. Education and awareness. Ensure that seniors, caregivers, and the general public are well informed about elder abuse signs and prevention methods. Healthcare screening. Doctors and nurses can be trained to identify the risks and signs of elder abuse, making medical settings critical intervention points. Please like the video and subscribe the channel for legal protection. Strict legislation. Countries should have stringent laws against elder abuse, ensuring severe penalties for perpetrators. Estate and financial planning. Encourage seniors to use official channels for wills, estates, and financial decisions. This can deter potential abusers. 5. Social support. Community engagement. Engaging elders in community activities can reduce isolation, a significant risk factor for abuse. Respite care services. Offering temporary relief to caregivers can reduce the stress that sometimes contributes to abuse. 6. Psychological and emotional support. Counseling services. Access to therapy can help seniors cope with trauma, and group therapy can create a support network among them. Empowerment programs. Equip the elderly with the tools they need to stand up against potential abusers. 7. Financial safety. Monitoring systems. Establish systems to monitor an elder's financial transactions, especially if they have cognitive impairments. Financial literacy programs. Equip seniors with knowledge about scams, frauds, and financial planning. 8. Caregiver support. Training. Caregivers, both familial and professional, should be trained on elder needs, stress management, and the importance of self-care. Support groups. Establish support groups where caregivers can share experiences and solutions. 9. Reporting and intervention. Hotlines and reporting systems asterisk asterisk. Establish toll-free numbers and online platforms to report suspected abuse. Emergency shelters. Provide refuge to elders who are in immediate danger or have nowhere else to go. 10. Research and continuous learning. Data collection. Gather data on elder abuse cases to identify patterns and develop better prevention strategies. Collaboration. Collaborate with international agencies to share best practices and learn from global experiences. Conclusion. As global populations age, the issue of elder abuse will become increasingly prominent. It is not just an individual or familial issue but a societal one. It requires comprehensive strategies that involve education, legal reform, social support, and active community engagement. Everyone has a role to play, from governments to healthcare providers, from communities to families. Recognizing and addressing elder abuse is not only an ethical imperative but also pivotal for the well-being of societies worldwide. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.